How you doing? Today we're going to talk about wine and cheese baskets. How to make them, what you should be looking for, and overall, why you should do it. For first of all, most occasions for a wine and cheese basket is usually during the holidays, a birthday, or a special occasion, like an anniversary or something like that. Well, first thing you want to look for is get your bottle of wine, because that's where you'll be your starting point. You take that bottle of wine and either go to your local cheese provider, Whole Foods, a cheese shop like we're in right now, or even other location that sell just a minimal size of amounts of cheese. You go there with your bottle of wine and say, this is what I'm tearing with. And usually from that point, you should get at least three cheeses. One very strong, one very light, and one pretty medium. Uh, do this because you don't know what the person likes and you know your all around flavors. Uh, also with wine and cheese baskets, it's, it's always good to add a little bit of retail into it. Uh, like from some tamponades, some crackers, some dips, even some chocolates, anything like that. That's why you should really do it. But overall, wine and cheese baskets are pretty simple. You just go to your local purveyor and they'll tell you all you need to know about it.